Alright, welcome to another series of evolution of gear. This time it's the pot series and no no crap, this is what I use that's this is what I started off with when I was going camping and hunting. That pig bucket. That was my cook pots and everything but the kitchen sink. So uh let's get back to the All right, uh, desktop. So we're back at the desktop and this is my uh evolution of cook pots since the very first day I've been out bush um, quite a few pots here and there's there is quite a few more I just can't find them they're probably stored away somewhere but uh, it's gonna be pretty hard to go from the beginning to the end but um, I'll try my best and hopefully I'm getting all this in in frame so let's start off we well, saw the big bucket that was the first system I ever used when I went camping because well, not the first time I went camping. The first time I went hunting, camping uh, as a, I guess, young adult. Um, more so hunting. The reason why I had that big bucket is because I was the one that brought all the cook, cook gear and stuff like that for everyone else. Um, and then it got to the stage where we all just brought our own cook pots and uh, that big bucket went away, thank God. So, after that big bucket, what did I use? I pretty much used... Um, this billy, good old Australian billy pot, it's been used and abused, and used and abused and used and abused. Um, it's an old pot, he's very very old, he, oh jeez, I, I couldn't even tell you, decades old. Uh, I've stopped using it because the aluminium is not safe anymore to, uh, to cook out of or boil, so... He is sadly retired and hangs up in my shed. Um, next was just this kind of, I don't know what you would call it, but I guess a billy style thing, stainless steel. I um, used it quite a bit, more to boil up water and uh, in soups and stuff like that, but nice little pour spout and uh, haven't used it for a while and uh, I think I might get back to using it um, here and there. I'm actually going to push all the gear on this side because I've got heaps of pots here. Um, and then from there... Um, oh, where did I start? Um, I kind of went to... Da, ba, da, ba, da, I don't know. I guess... I guess this one of these cook systems. Um, you know, kind of two-tier pot thing. So, you know, you got one pot, I've drilled some holes in there to like, get a metal, a metal thing to hang it over the fire like a billy. Uh, another pot there, all packs up into one. So, you know, I've kind of used this here and there. Um, I don't know how do you put this thing back together? Think, Leroy, think. Like that. Right, so that pot there, um, and then I was using this thing for quite a while. Um, it's just one of those. I mean, you could actually make a survival tin kit out of this, and and basically cook system. I've cooked heaps of uh, you know noodles in there and and other bits and pieces uh, while out bush. Um, it had a plastic. Uh, actually, no, it didn't have any handle. I drilled a hole and put like a, a bolt there. So I could even use it as a, you know, put coals over it and bake in it and stuff like that. It is stainless steel. So, you know, it's been good. And uh, I haven't used it for a while, but that's another bit of kit that I used to use. Um, this I've had for a while. Um, it's a great little kit. Um, basically, you know, you can use that as a, as a plate. Use that as your saucepan. Um, use both of them. Um, great for like making a damper or bannock. Um, basically, put the lid on, put that on the on the fire, put the coals over it, and away you go. It's like a little, you know, basically bake your bread in there. So that's been great. Used that many times, and I'm still keen to use it, especially for making uh, bannock or uh, or damper and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, uh, started getting into more kind of this style of, uh, of pot but uh, a bit larger so you know basically 
Uh, I've had this for a very, very long time and I've used this nearly every camp trip. It seems to be my favourite, um, you know, cooking pot. Had a uh, plastic handle there. Uh, I took that off and put like a, a screw and bolt system there. And here we go. I've been looking for that thing. <laughs> so, there it is. Uh, anyway, and uh, yeah, great system. Um, actually cooked with that at Belanglo, so yep, I still use it. And uh, absolutely love it. Sorry, I'm back. Um, so yeah, this pot I still use all the time. Um, and then this pot, you know, I wanted something a little bit taller, a little bit larger where I can cook, um, you know, a bit of a stew for, you know, more than one or two people. You know, I had a, had a plastic thing there, I took it off. So I can hang it over a fire like that and not worry about any plastic burning. I left that plastic on there. Um, comes with another little kind of sauce mini thing. Um, like every time I go to Macca's, I steal every single salt and pepper satchel they got. So just a little tip, go to Macca's, grab a handful of that every time you go. Not that I promote eating junk food like that, but anyway. Um, Macca's has its place sometime. So, um, actually haven't, haven't, haven't used this for a while, so I'm going to bring that out next time I um, go bush. Um, and then I started getting into like the kettles. Little, little teapot kind of kettle things. Um, whoop, aluminium, but lightweight. Purely just to boil water. Um, you know, a lot of times I'll bring one of these and then I'll bring a pot, you know what I mean? So this is purely dedicated to water and my teas and coffees and stuff like that. And the other one dedicated to food. We all know the reasons why. You can't be bothered to clean the thing, you know, straight after them, boil water, and then your water tastes like food. That's disgusting. So one, you know, one thing dedicated to water at least. So yeah, been using these pots. You can see the usage there. Um, love them. They're pretty good. I, I think I used this one or that one at the um, the trip I did where I did a video near the river, just hanging by the river or something. I absolutely love this little one. I bought this from Audi. Just enough for one, one and a half cups, maybe two, um, but small, light, perfect. You know, inside I just put, you know, just some key essentials, some tea, got some chicken stock and stuff, just some stuff. Generally I have a cleaning sponge in there, uh, cleaning sponge in there which I should put back there because I know I'm going to be looking for one. So, that's that. And then I started getting into, you know, military, army kind of cook style systems. So I've got the Australian Army um, mess system here. So it comes with two, two cooking parts here. And I prefer the handles like that. Why? Because you can tip things out easily like that. Um, so a great bit of kit. Um, and I've only used it once or twice to be honest, so I need to start using this a bit more too. A great kit and packs up, you know, really small and light. Um, and then this one here, I think this is a Dutch a Dutch cook system. I know uh, Mr. Aussie Adventure actually gave this to me. So again, uh, great, nice and deep. I cook a nice meal in that. And then you've got the other one here. Cook a nice meal. Forgot I had some trail food in there. Jeez, I'm finding everything. I'll try to remember that's in there next time. But, um, so yeah. So I've got my, uh, kind of army mess things there. And I'm trying to, I'm getting into collecting, um, different, ty different types of nationality or countries, um, military cook systems. So I've got Aussie, got Dutch, I think it is. Uh, I've got my German. Use that, you can see that. Use my German one. Found this piece of leather. So it makes a good strap to um, hold everything in place. Um, I think everyone's seen this, so I'm not going to take it apart. But great, great cook system. You've got three implements there. Um, great for making stews. And actually, I'm keen to use this again, to be honest. Actually, next trip I'm going, I'm using that. 
Um, and then the good old GI canteen systems. Um, can't beat them to be honest. You know, this one's been used and abused and smashed and bent and dinted. Um, little butterfly handles, love it. I prefer butterfly handles at, at, at this moment. Um, I had the uh, the one that folds out like a third leg. Um, I've lost it, unfortunately. Yep, shame on me, but unfortunately I did. Um, but great system. The reason why we all we all know the reason why. It's just so light and compact. Get your, G, oop, get your GI canteen, and you got one you got one system to cook, drink. Everything you need, love it, and still use it to this day. And um, yeah, I'll put him aside for a reason I'll show you later. Another new one I bought with uh, wider butterfly handles, so I don't burn myself that easy. Um, you've used him once on our alcohol stove. Uh, this one, funnily enough, has to go inside the cup for some reason. Don't know why. Um, of course, the good old grill plate, which needs cleaning. Uh, nothing better than cooking meat and stuff off a grill on the on the coals and fire. So he comes along all the time when I'm doing probably more of an extended stay. And now with my latest kind of uh, gear, uh, titanium cup mug. Um, used this the other day to cook up some uh, some noodles. With the boy, no, I didn't I use the other one? Sorry, I used that one. Um, tea, sorry, I used this up to boil some tea. Sorry, I'm getting excited with my business, with my logo. I'm sticking these stickers on everything. Um, so yeah, great kit, lightweight, and that's what I wanted. I'll eventually, I've always wanted a titanium cooking cup system, and I finally got one, and it's great, great bit of kit. So I'll be using this more often. And that fits perfectly with my Stanley one litre stainless steel water bottle. Um, and I've made a stove for this. I don't know where it is at the moment. Um, but there is a stove for this. Oh, now I'm boggled. Where is it? Anyway, it's somewhere. I made a stove to uh, sit this on top. Sorry, okay. I had to turn the camera off and find that stove I made. It was doing my head in. So there it is. That's a little stove I made. It was just an old cup that I had, drilled some holes in it, and uh, pretty much use your um, your alcohol stove or whatever, sit him on top, and it's good to go. And that basically uh, fits and sits perfectly inside there, and then my Stanley water bottle fits perfectly inside there. With the help of a uh, bandana, it helps it from not rattling around, so. Titanium cook kit, uh, and then my second latest addition, which is my jet ball, which I showed in the other video in regards to fuel. But this is part of my cooking pots, so the good old jet ball again, one system in one, and absolutely love it. Absolutely love this bit of kit, and uh, just another reach. Well, this actually got given to me um, a Warlord Industries um, thermo mug you know great for taking with you so um, you know you've boiled up maybe some water you've drank that tea you're hanging around you want to move on but you want another tea later you can just boil up some more water you know pour it in there put your tea in there and pretty much um, carry it with you and it'll stay warm for about eight hours or a soup or something like that so nice and light um, I love the kind of matte black finish uh, with the Warlord thing on there and uh, love it great bit of kit there Bang. so it brings me back to the point of evolution from the beginning to the end I guess the most popular system I use you know 80% of the time is bing, the GI canteen system that is the one system I use at the most when I'm out in the field. If I'm doing a little scout, you know, day walk, whatever, hike, this and that. So again, it goes back to the kind of old-fashioned style of things. Always comes back to your most popular 
cooking systems. And I know a lot of you out there um, use the same system more so than anything else. So there you go. That's another little uh, part on the uh, evolution of gear series. I think this may be part five. I'm not too sure. So um, I'm going to have fun now organizing everything and putting this back onto my shelf and putting things back in the correct bag that they came out of. So cheers, guys.